January 2022. There were r rumors swirling all over the place, things being said on my behalf that I had no about idea about. I left City because I tell the story about the real reason I quit my job. So, can life be any better than a 9 to 5 job? I certainly hope so, because I quit my job one year ago. have allowed activists to connect across borders and mobilize in numbers like never before. We've seen it with movements like Fridays for the Future and platforms like YouTube can be really helpful in creating content for engaging people. Yesterday, Global Citizen held its first ever YouTube Creator Summit for climate change. And I had the opportunity woo -woo, to connect with these incredible creators right here on stage at the summit yesterday and we heard from leading activists and experts who explain how we can use our social platforms to amplify messages and collectively create change. I think I can speak for everyone that I was super inspired. Thank you guys for everything that you're doing. Hey, I'm Louis from Fun for Louis and I'm hanging out with Jessica OS. Hello, this is Paul from Brazil. Hello, Jessica OS. On a sailboat. On a sailboat, cruising around the world, South Pacific. I want to be you when I grow up. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome to come aboard anytime. You, you just documented that. That's the waterfall right there. So people don't understand why I quit my job. They really don't, and I get it, you know. Um, the uncertainty out there is real, but in that same vein, I feel like... We're in Times Square, baby. There's so much opportunity. Like, I feel like it's only when you break those apron strings that you're really able to live. And that's all I want to do at this point in time. I'm actually a YouTuber by day and a ninja at night when I eat special ingredients. Now you know. Alright, so a couple of years ago I started a journey in radio in Ghana and um, a few years later television found me. Now it hasn't been like the smoothest of journeys but I must say that everything that I learned I actually learned on the job and I'm really really grateful for like opportunities like that and so much more because I feel like there are not a lot of people who um, had it. I keep telling people when they ask me how I joined radio I tell them that radio actually found me um, and that's true because my sister introduced me to radio and the rest is history. So on the 28th of January, 2022, I quit my job. That was big. Um, media outlets were posting it all over the place. So social media was ablaze, you know, about it. Um, lots of people didn't see it coming. To be honest, I feel like working in the media in Ghana had taken the best part of my life, the best years of my life. And I, I don't know how, what it looks like from the outside in, and maybe people can drop it in the comments below. like then again i'm a very private person so people probably don't even know what's going on with me which is okay i choose to live my life like that and i like it because i just feel like the less miles in your business <laughs> the happier you are right but um this past year 2022 was one of the most interesting years of my life because i completely owned my time and that's when the real test of character comes in because you ask yourself, are you going to be able to stay disciplined or still wake up early, do the work that you need to get done, you know, especially with this digital media journey that I had started, um, you know, pursuing. And 
it was truly a test. I mean, there were days where I would fall ill and I'd be by myself, uh, have no assistance whatsoever. There were days where I would just not be in the mood to work, right? And all these days came together in 2022 to make it what it was. Did I miss my old job? No, not really. Did I miss, you know, radio and the engagement? Not really. And I, I can boldly say that because I was never really um, a media person. I was never really someone who was thrilled about the limelight. I was always someone who was totally happy just being in my space, doing me, um, keeping close contact with the people that mattered. And that was literally it, you know. So I didn't miss the spotlight. I didn't miss, you know, a very interesting thing happened when I visited the US. You know, I had gone for about six months at the time without any word whatsoever on my whereabouts or what I was doing. And I was walking in the middle of New York, um, you know, and <laughs> somewhere close to Times Square. And some girls, about three girls, walked close enough and started and mentioned my name and said hi and for a second I was completely lost like hmm, who are these people how do they know me I had totally forgotten that there were people who could still recognize me because I was a personality from Ghana right and so I I'm sure I had this weird look on my face and the girls were probably thinking what's she all about right um but then that was just how zoned out and how truly enjoying my anonymity was for me you know um i didn't have to think about walking down the street and having people recognize me because i would move around so often you know um i spent quite a bit of time outside ghana and it was it was just absolutely amazing at any point in time it's just nice to know that i could get up and go you know I could be in South Africa um, on Monday. By Friday, I'd be in Spain. Um, the next day, I'd be in Hawaii. You know, and and it was it was really really great. It was really really great. I think the highlight of 2022 for me was when I got to share the stage with about 30 other big YouTubers um, all across the world, um, and also you know share the space with actress Priyanka Chopra I think I think that was a, a defining moment for me it was really exciting and to think that something that had been my side hustle had brought me so far to stand on the stage in um, you know in New York and and really be able to impact lives in my own small way that was pretty amazing maybe my highlight of 2022 the down times were many but i i don't like to dwell on the negatives i'm a very positive person i tell people that that i'm such a positive person that even the blood that runs through my veins tells me to be positive and that's exactly what i do so <laughs> i mean yeah let's focus on the greats let's focus on the milestones chalked i'm close to a million subscribers less than three years on YouTube and look it's it's just been really fulfilling I've had a chance to talk to men from Singapore to um, Japan I've had a chance to talk to men from South Africa to Rome and Italy and and I've had a chance to talk to men from California and I mean listen I've had a chance to talk to more men than I ever envisioned in my lifetime and to actually share um, emotional moments to share personal moments you know to help them navigate their relationship waters this this year has just been really fantastic why did i quit my job at city i think that's what a lot of people want to know there were r rumors swirling all over the place things being said on my behalf that i had no about idea about you know um people saying oh i'd fallen out with a boss um you know and and that kind of thing none of them were true um i left city because i felt it was time it was time to truly explore being me. I had hit a milestone of um, 40 years a few months earlier and I just felt, I knew that as soon as I hit 40, I was gonna quit. 
you know, it was just a matter of time. And I wanted to do that before I turned 41. Um, has it been a rewarding journey so far? Absolutely. Absolutely. Some of my wildest dreams have come true. You know, things that I never thought I'd be able to do have been done. And I'm like, like I say, I'm not someone who, um, shows things on social media and I'm happy to just, you know, um, share my successes with those who are really close to me, you know, but those who've had opportunities to actually talk to me this year, know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so I quit city, not because I was on bad terms with my boss. Um, I was actually, I'm actually still very, um, good with him. You know, there's no bad blood. It's all good. You know, life just had to take me down a different path and I was willing to explore it. Get it. I don't, I don't know why you're leaving Jess. To be honest, City just feels more synonymous with you. Because I just don't, even, even your YouTube, I don't watch the videos just because, you know, I want to know five ways to attract a girl. That's not why I watch it. That's not why I watch it. I mean, seriously, that's not why I watch it. Even though that's kind of cool. But that's not why I watch it. Like, I need to stress, that's not why I watch it. But I also just watch it because it's like, it's the tact with which you present it. It's the professionalism, it's the voiceover, it's the mastery. Is the delivery like all of it? It's like it's a whole package. I learn a lot about what it's like to perfectly deliver content, and I think what you've done with that YouTube channel is what's convinced me that everything you touch is gorgeous. I'm gonna miss you. I love you, and I absolutely adore you. And I am gonna miss you, Jess. I uh, I love you. That's all I can say. All the best, Jess. God bless you for everything. We're at work. Last day at work. <laughs> this is so surreal. It's 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 interesting. You should spend all the money. At all. You know, so you can be you can be head of the family, but now we sit at same side. You understand? So it is it is that. It is what it is. Jess is in the studio. Jess is in the moment. No, no, Jess, come, 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 come. No, come and say something. <laughs> See, something like girl, what? Uh -huh. 22 years old. Uh -huh. 22 years old. You have a full fantasy. If you're watching this video right now, you can support me in different ways just by subscribing to the channel, Jessica OS channel. There's a lot that we can do together, a whole lot.